rather than have to bend down every time, I invented this device. You could say that Dr. Richard Tinlin is a jack of all trades, but that title doesn't seem to do this Camp Verde pecan farmer justice. And I'll show you that I can pick up a pecan with ease without having to bend over. I can fill these chambers up. I can go over to a pail and I can release the pecan just like that. The retired the geophysicist and, and inventor bought 35 acres of property in Camp Verde, knowing full well its potential. I bought the farm and I came here and being an Iowa farm boy, I knew I didn't like to, to bale hay or have cows, so I put in pecan trees. Historically, there are a lot of old pecan trees here in the Verde Valley, some of them almost 100 years old, so I knew that they would grow here. The variety we grow is a Wichita and a Western, which is they're compatible in the sense of pollination. I really like the Wichita. Most of them are. The value in the pecan is in the, the nut meat that's in the pecan. We have a very good quality pecan, very tasty, and, and the, the nut meat is a light tan color. And that, that is a, a mark of a really good pecan. Every harvest, Dr. Tinlin invites local school children to come down to his summer place pecan farm and watch what can only be described as a little pecan storm. I'm going to start the tractor up, I'm going to open that big machine up, back up to the tree, and clamp up right onto the tree. As the children watch the process, the doctor uses his tree shaker and makes it rain pecans. You could say it's Dr. Tinlin's version of a nutty pinata party, except, well, you don't need a pinata. Screaming, squealing children are instantly gratified with all the pecans they can stuff in their little brown sacks, hats, and pockets. Yeah, I wish all my help was this enthusiastic. <laughs> We have shipped as far as Germany and China. We do a lot of farmers markets. We grow about uh, 50 to 60,000 pounds. Then we shell out maybe another 15 to 20,000 pounds, which we keep in the barn and in freezers. And that way we, we have uh, a high quality pecan for the farmers markets, which, which are quite fun to do. I enjoy the farmers markets greatly because people really want a good product. So what makes for a good pecan? A uh, fresh pecan is almost sweet. You can, you can tell it's sweet. It, it has a crunchiness to it. You can take the nut and just break it and it snaps. And of course then there, it also has that unique pecan flavor that's hard to describe until you've experienced it. And of course, Dr. Tinlin acknowledges that you cannot be in the pecan business without living the pecan mantra. Sometimes I feel like a nut and sometimes I don't. Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service and the Arizona Office of Tourism.